what is up guys, I'm Celis Williams, aka The Swole Fester, here to educate you on health, fitness, social well being. And first and foremost guys, I want to apologize. You guys only got one video last week, which was the Q&A video, which counted as the informative video. You didn't get a social well being video. And I told you guys just the week before that, that you'd be getting two uploads, um, a social well being video, and some type of informative video every week. And I'm getting back on that as of now. But uh, being very blunt, and those of you who follow me on Instagram kind of already know, even though I didn't go into details or anything like that, I explained that last week was very rough for me. I was dealing with a lot of things at once, a lot of stresses, and quite frankly, it was just really going through probably easily like one of the lowest points in my life that I've been at, if not uh, the lowest since the passing of my sister. So it was really hard, it was really rough, and this this isn't one of those YouTube videos where I'm getting it all deep into my personal life and stuff like that. That's why, you know, thumbnails and me with my head down being like, I have something to tell you, none of that bull crap. Um, but I do, as always, want to use what I just went through and, and my personal experience as a way to kind of help those of you who are going through hard times as far as like how to handle it from a social well-being perspective. So what I want to talk to you guys about is the is the, a few things, but really this is about the importance of moving forward because at the end of the day, guys, life will hit you and it will hit you hard in different ways. Um, sometimes when it hits you, it may not seem like a big deal in the moment and it may affect you a little bit later in life. Other times it'll hit you fast and hard and you'll just feel shook. Um, other times things will build up, you know, there's there's different ways that life hits us, but it's a common denominator for all human beings to struggle, right? We, we all deal with some type of issue or struggle and it's easy to sit here and, and like compare struggles. But as I've said on this channel before, at the end of the day, that's kind of subjective. It's like, even if you're going through something that may seem objectively harder than what someone else is going through, how you feel about what you're going through is how you feel. So the first thing I want to talk about guys is that when you're dealing with something to accept the fact that how you feel about it is okay. If you're sad about it, if you're angry, if you feel like you're not as upset as what you think you should be, that's okay. Don't guilt trip yourself for how you're feeling in terms of like what you're dealing with. You can't control, really control your emotions. They aren't logical. Feelings are fleeting, they come and go. You can only control how you respond to them. So the first thing is to accept that how you feel is how you feel and that's okay regardless of what anyone else is telling you or how they feel about it. The second thing that I wanna get into is the importance of once you address how you feel and once you realize that this issue will promise you hard to don't rush to try to fix things. Just don't. Give yourself time to feel whatever that feeling is. So the first step is to let yourself you know, feel what you feel. And the second thing is give yourself time to really feel that stuff. Don't be, you may need more than a day to be upset about whatever it is. You may need a week, you may need a couple weeks, you may need a month. I'm just gonna be honest, like it depends on what it is, severity of it, what you're dealing with. Um, but don't feel like just because someone else went through something similar to you and they got through it faster than what you did that you suddenly feel like you had to push through. Everybody heals at their own rate, everybody deals with things in their own way. Um, but after you've taken the time to kind of let yourself feel, this, this third step is to start taking steps to move forward in the sense of not that you're suddenly gonna be over it, not that you're suddenly not gonna stop feeling the way you do and let those feelings come and go as they do, but being proactive and doing what you need to do to take care of yourself to get better. Surrounding yourself with loved ones, being around friends, family, your significant other, taking time to just be alone and do you if you need to, um, taking the time to kind of get back in your usual routine. That's the thing. Some people, you have to step away from your usual routine so that you can really take the time to heal because otherwise you're just suppressing what you're feeling. Some of you, you need to get back in your usual routine because that helps you heal, that helps you cope because if you just just don't do anything, you get consumed with, with your feelings and the negativity. I'm someone where I'm kind of in the middle of that. I personally, when I'm dealing with something, I have my times where I need to just be and not do anything and kind of chill and relax. And then I have other times where it's like, I can't just do nothing forever altogether for too long or I get very consumed with negative thoughts and emotions. So I have to kind of stay productive. So it's finding that balance, but that's the main thing, finding what works for you and making sure that what you're doing though is beneficial into getting you into making you feel better. So when I say find what works for you, I'm not talking about being someone where you rely like on, on a lot of drinking or, or drugs or something that's gonna be detrimental to kind of like numb the pain. I mean, finding what's really gonna help you to get better and to start moving forward from whatever you're dealing with. Not, once again, that you're gonna suddenly just be over it, but that you are taking the steps to heal. And that's one thing that I think is important to emphasize. A, a lot of people will go too far with like steps one and two, where it's like, hey, feel what you feel. And the second one is take as long as you need to feel what you feel. And yes, don't try to suppress or just cast off those feelings, but you do still have to be responsible in how you respond to them. You have to choose 
to start moving forward from them. If you if you just try to wait to get back to your to the usual routine of life or try or to start taking steps forward when you feel good enough to, you may never do it because you don't know how long those feelings and thoughts are going to impact you based upon what you're going through. You don't want to put your life on hold for two, three months because you're still feeling upset about whatever it is that impacted you, whether it's the loss of a friend um, or something else, whatever it may be. So the key is, yes, let yourself feel what you feel, but you have to still choose to start taking the steps to walk forward to get better. If you know, if you need a few days, a week, or a little bit like to kind of like get readjusted, it's fine, but it's very important that you do make sure you start living life again, essentially. Like in, in whatever small capacities you can, you don't have to jump back into things full throttle, but just a little bit back at a time, getting back on top of what you need to be doing. Um, in my case, it's the fact that I still, you know, I did my best to still try to like, you know, Kind of like you know be consistent with instagram i still made sure i got my training sessions in still took care of all my client stuff but i wasn't responding to as many things as far as like uh just random questions random dms random comments i obviously you know didn't upload uh the second youtube video for the week last week because i i just i just found that balance i stepped back from what i needed to but still took care of business that needed to be handled so that i could just find that balance of moving forward for me and i think it's important and i think it's important to surround yourself with people who, yes, are gonna love you and let you feel what you feel, let you been encourage you, but also remind you that hey, you're gonna be okay, you're gonna get through it. It's so easy, guys, to quickly get overwhelmed with your with your own thoughts and feelings, to, to feel like it's the end of everything. Even when you logically up here know you're gonna be good in the long term, it's easy to forget that when you're in the moment of dealing with what you're de with what you're dealing with. So surrounding yourself with people who are going to encourage you and remind you of who you are and what you're capable of and that you can get through it is vitally important. People are gonna still be honest with you too about whatever you're dealing with in the situation. You don't want people just gonna share code things necessarily, but you want people gonna be empathetic and listen and try to give you some good sound advice. And for some of you, some of you are probably thinking, man, I don't, I don't have a whole lot of close friends. I don't have a whole lot of family. And if that's the case, but you feel like you need to talk to someone, then reach out to someone, reach out to a professional. There's always resources, guys. And that's kind of what I'm trying to get at with this, is that no matter what you're dealing with, no matter what you're going through, no matter how hard it's hitting you, no matter how bad it hurts, even if just logically, even when you do think about it logically, you don't see any way out of it, there always is, guys. There's always a way to push through what you're dealing with, but you have to choose to do whatever it takes to get out of it. You have to choose to reach out and have resources. If you're someone where you know you need to talk to someone, but you don't have close friends or family, there's resources out there who are willing to talk to you. If you feel like, oh, well, I don't have the money to go see, like, you know, um, like like a psychiatrist or whatever it may be, or a counselor, depending on the severity of it, like there's people out there that like, I know for a fact, that, like in churches and stuff like that, that will talk to you about stuff for free. So it's like, do whatever you need to, you know what I mean? If you're someone where you kind of handle things more on your own, um, just because that's what works best for you, then by all means, it's fine, do it. Be alone, but just don't, don't, get consumed in your solitude. Don't don't get to the point where you're like, you're not, you know yourself, right? Like you know when you're not being you. So if it gets to that point, you need to reach out to someone, make sure you do so. But yeah, as always, the social being video is kind of like just me being raw and honest a little bit all over the place, but I'm just trying to emphasize to you guys that, hey, when you're going through stuff, let yourself feel what you need to feel. Don't try to control or suppress or rush those feelings, but make sure that you're taking the steps to do what you need to do to move on with life. You may be feel upset about what you're dealing with, for five months, but you don't want to be just sitting in your home doing nothing for five months. You know what I mean? So that's what I mean by that balance of let yourself feel what you feel, but still take the steps to move forward with life. It's okay to take a little step back and kind of just be for a little bit, but you can't do that for months at a time because it's just not gonna be good for you. It's not gonna be healthy. It's not gonna be productive, especially for those of you where you're where you have a job or you're in school, or you have kids, whatever it may be, you gotta do what you need to do to move forward. So yeah, I just kind of want to emphasize that as well as kind of like, you know, Apologize if you guys didn't get that social being video, but consider this that we back on track. Everything's gonna be good to go with the usual informative content. Like I said, the next um, informative video will be about like the bench setup and the change that I've made with my bench over the past few months and how I think some of these changes are important for you guys to think about incorporate into your own bench setup and then which ones are more individual than me, all that good stuff. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Hope it wasn't too real, too raw for you because, like I said, I didn't get too personal with it, but. I hope it helped you guys out. That's it for the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you did. If you did not, leave a comment down below. Let me know what I can do better. Like the video. Share. Subscribe. Keep it simple, specific, scientific. I'll catch y'all later.